right, uh, we, it's the after show. We're live in New York City. Heather Gay is here. You can yeah. stream the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City on Peacock now. Joel Kim Booster's show is called Chrissy and Dave Dine Out. It premieres tomorrow on Freeform. Available to stream the next day on Hulu. Steel and Shooter, the Brav Bros. It's their podcast. You do this thing every day? Oh, yeah. Every we, day? We fit sports in the middle somewhere. Oh, okay. Of course. <laughs> talk sports. I mean, with all due, that last Eagles game. No, no, we don't, we don't talk about that. We don't right. talk okay. about We're on to the next one. Um, okay, that's cool. Uh, do you all have any questions for Heather or I? I have one question for Heather. We had a debate about the black eye, and I know we've covered that. But we kept noticing the the prickly plant, the tree plant yeah. in the corner, the twigs. Did that have anything to do with it at all? It did not at all. And we made a lot of horrible, dumb jokes because, uh, you know, we didn't know how to. How do you think it happened? I mean, I you were, were so drunk. I think we were just rough I was rough we were, housing. We were tits out, balls out. Like it was, it was an awful, crazy blackout drunk night, and. If you understand Mormonism, you understand that drinking is worse than abuse. It's worse than anything. It's the worst thing. And for some reason, it just clouded my judgment completely. Do you worry that people may mistrust you now or Absolutely. not trust you because Absolutely. of this? Absolutely, yeah. When you, when you, you know, evade accountability like that, you know, their karma's a bitch. All right, let's go back to the virtual fans. Alex and Antoinette from New Jersey, what's your question for Heather? Hi. Um, so, Heather, did you ever pay Monica back for the perfume that she purchased for you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm so glad you asked that. No. Did you do that on purpose? No. There was a lot of speculation that because she owed you money, you had her pay for that. I did not want, I did not think she had the finances to buy it. And Angie Venmoed her on my behalf. Okay. So that total Why didn't was. you Venmo her? Because I wanted nothing to do with her after finale. And okay. everyone respected oh. that and supported me. And Angie Venmoed her immediately. And that was my part as well. Got it. But I had also bought her things throughout the season. I bought her clothes that when we went shopping. I mean, we had really championed her. Okay. Uh, here's Maggie from Michigan with a question for Joel. Hi, um, how does your boyfriend respond to hearing jokes about him in your comedy sets, and does he ever get upset? How long have you been with him? Uh, it'll be three years this year. Wow. Um, and Was he in the three-way last Tuesday? Uh, I, you know what? I'm not going to say. Okay. Um, just because we, there is a discussion that happens okay. when I bring him up in settings like this or in my set, and uh, he, he does, he has vetoed. Uh, one or two things, and I respect that. And quite honestly, I'm a little disappointed that our relationship hasn't um, given me more to write about um, okay. comedically, because it's it's generally pretty healthy and wonderful. So okay. uh, nothing really to write about. Well, that's okay. not funny. Yeah, exactly. You know? Not funny at <laughs> <Yeah>. all. <laughs> that's great. Um, Heather, uh, Nicole M. on Facebook wants to know if any of you talked to Coach Shaw. Mm -mm. I haven't. No. Okay, what Me do either. you think the reaction from Camp Shaw will be after tonight? What what statement are we expecting to get tomorrow? Something will come out. Tomorrow. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. I mean, something, you know, just kind of blanket denial and character assassination and retaliation, which, you know, we've seen before. Lauren P. texted, Heather, do you think if you came clean about the black eye earlier, it would have affected Jen's criminal sentencing? I didn't know. I didn't know, and I wasn't willing to roll the dice, especially because I felt culpable, and I felt like it was my fault that it had all happened, honestly. There is a new clip that was released of tomorrow night's Beverly Hills. You were upset at Dorit for calling Crystal a child bride. Yeah, it didn't sit super well with me. And I think, um, you know, as much as Dorit likes to say that she is, like, you know, a student of the world or whatever, I, I think that sometimes she says things and, and doesn't really, you know, think about sort of the implications of some of the things that she thinks. And I think it's really unfair to say that while Crystal was getting married, the rest of them were getting degrees and starting businesses when Crystal has a degree. And Crystal has one of the most successful businesses, I think, of any housewife yeah. um, in the world. And so, you know, it's it's not a great, I don't know. It just didn't sit right with me. Uh, Mike O wants to know, Joel, out of all of the current housewives, who gets your vote for most improved during their recent season? <laughs> You know what? I gotta go with Angie um, because I was really not 
uh, on board for Angie at the beginning. Uh -huh. And I think she really, you know, she came into her own um, in, the, in exactly the right time that she needed to. And I think she had a really great reunion performance. Wonderful too. reunion. Dami Boy 666 Heather, did you come into the season preparing to take down Monica at some point? Or did all the information fall into your lap on the final days of filming? Um, a few days prior to filming, I started to put the Beauty Lab pieces together, which was the first kink, chink in the armor. And then, it, but I was absolutely championing her. I wanted to be her friend. We had so much in common. She's very charming, and I, you know, I, I have liked to think her. when you were out shopping with her that day, and she said she slept with her brother-in-law, that you were like, "Oh, this is gonna." I was be like, "This is gonna be great." You know, <laughs> right. here, we go, here we go. Right, you're like, "Oh, I could take tomorrow off." Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, we're we're good. Yes. Uh, here's a good one. Lou loves Bravo. Said now that it's been reported that Monica's not coming back for season five, how will dynamic shift among the ladies? Well, we've got to see the new women, absolutely. And I think that, you know, Salt Lake City has so many layers, but at the core of it is a lot of friendship and a lot of competition, which I think is what makes great television. So I'm looking forward to season five. Um, okay, anything else, JKB, you want to say? Um, yeah, I will say I, you know, I don't need Monica the sequel. I'm I'm not super upset that she's not coming back, but I will say I would like to see Monica on The Traders and maybe even with Heather if that's not too traumatic for you. Okay. Uh, I think too that could traumatic. Be, could be <laughs> I'm just kidding, no. Pretty interesting to see uh, you know, reality Vontees on The Traders and see how that would work out. Brav Bros, anything else you need to say? No, it was a great season. Great comeback overall. We thought that it was great TV, and we're excited to see what's next. Absolutely. The Brav Bros. I, I can't love the Brav it. Bros. Yeah. Philly. They're oh, right. my God. Philly. Why is everyone from Philly just ready for a fight at all times? You Why is want to fight? Yeah, Excuse you, me? You want to fight? <laughs> yeah, I want to fight. I want to fight you guys. It sounds like we need a okay, franchise fine. in Philly if what you're I, saying no, is true. I know. I mean, it's too it's too much of a tinderbox like Boston. Everybody's like ready to go at all minutes. You got to be ready to go cuz everyone else is ready to go. I got Right, that's the yeah, thing. Why is everyone's guard up? Because we lose all the time in the big games and it breaks our heart and we get okay, angry. Okay. Okay. And they're passionate. And we're right, passionate. Yes, they that's are. a much nicer answer. We're passionate. Mm. Thanks, Heather. Yeah, thanks. All right. Uh, I want to thank our virtual fans. Thank everyone who voted. Thanks, Joel. Thanks, Heather. Thanks, guys. For more, click around BravoTV.com. Good night, everybody.